In our previous lesson, we introduced the concept of T-accounts and debits and credits. As you probably noticed, we only considered balance sheet items. One can rightly ask, what about income statement items? Are there T-accounts for them too? The answer is yes. There are T-accounts for income statement items, and in this lesson we will learn everything that we need to know about them. But first, let's make sure that you understand one of the fundamental logics in accounting. When a firm trades and makes profits, these profits remain with the firm unless it decides to distribute them to shareholders, right? But if it doesn't distribute them, quite intuitively, the firm keeps these profits on its balance sheet. It registers them as retained earnings, an account that is part of equity. This is the main connection between the income statement and the balance sheet. When a firm makes profits, its equity capital increases, and conversely, if it produces losses, its equity capital decreases. This is straightforward because profits and losses belong to investors and are thus registered in equity. Now, having said that, we are ready to learn how to work with T-accounts for income statement items. Similar to what we saw before, debits are on the left side, while credits are on the right side. This is something that will remain unchanged in all situations. Revenues are the first item that we will consider. They are the main factor that influences a firm's net result. If revenues are higher than costs, then the firm will produce a profit. Given that we saw that profits increase a firm's equity, we can think of revenues as an item that ultimately increases equity. Therefore, it will behave like equity. We will credit it when it increases, and we will debit it when it decreases. On the other hand, costs behave in the opposite way. They decrease equity. So, quite intuitively, when we increase an account that behaves like equity, such as revenues, we credit it. When we increase an account that goes in the opposite direction, like expenses, we debit it. Think of revenues as future equity. This should be really helpful and clear your doubts. In case you need further help, you can always write in the course forum, where you'll get a lightning-fast response. Thanks for watching.